My name is Michael and I'd like to talk to you about employee engagement and burnout. I saw in the beginning of this video, we talk about why employee engagement is needed, how does it benefit managers, employees, and lastly, how does it benefit an organization. Employees are the most vital part of an organization. They are one of the most determining success factors of an organization's growth. Employee retention has been an old age question and finding a solution to retain employees a golden answer. Managers need to inculcate five guidelines which drives employee engagement. Firstly, manage an employee relationship that is moving from a hierarchical to flat organization structure or a mix of both for better communication. Secondly, leadership. Employees feel motivated and empowered when they can take on leadership roles and more opportunities. Thirdly, intrinsic motivation. With companies' core values, employees become aligned and engaged with organization's values. Fourthly, meaningful work. Employees contribute to organization's success when they are rewarded and recognized. Fifthly, employees' well-being. Organizations need to take care of their employees' health, both mentally, physically, or else burnout could occur. Now guys, in the following video, you will learn about burnout, its causes, its effects, and also about why we, have, we need a solution for burnout. After that, a real-life depiction of the workplace burnout and its possible solutions on how managers can change their approach towards employee to create engagement and reduce burnout. Thank you.
scenario 1, Richie is an employee who is loaded with work and is not equipped with sufficient resources to manage his work. The pressures he faces are exhausting him and his boss, Alex, expects work to be done at a short notice. Alex's lack of understanding of Richie's situation can demotivate him in such a situation. The reaction of Alex's insensitive nature as a manager towards his employee can cause Richie to burn out and it will create a lack of motivation to do his work with added pressure from his manager as he does not have enough resources. Here we have the right way of doing it. Richie is loaded with work. Alex is a very understanding manager and knows that Richie is loaded with work. He asks him if everything is okay and if he needs help. He then sits down with Richie and explains how the work is to be done. This motivation provided by Alex can boost Richie's self-confidence and also make him realize that he is not under pressure and that resources are available from his manager to get things done. He reassures him as well and Richie feels much better to work. In scenario two, a team meeting is happening. Michael has some great ideas for the company and is enthusiastic to show it. He explains so passionately about his structure, but Alex, the manager, tells him to hush, which is not a good sign, and says his idea is mediocre. On the other hand, Richie, who is Alex's favorite, draws the same structure Here, he gets recognition for it, as Alex tries to involve Yash, who wasn't even bothered about the presentation to get the opinion. Mike cannot believe that this is the same structure and Richie is getting attention for Alex. Alex contradicts Richie and Mike is left in dilemma of his work assessment. Here we have the right way of doing it. Michael is an enthusiastic as ever as he goes through his structure. Here you can see Alex, the manager, getting involved with Michael's work, tries to understand it much better, and then he tries to give him feedback on his work. He then asks everyone on the team about Michael's work and as can be seen Richie agrees with Michael's work and is not hogging up all the limelight. Michael can be seen to be very happy at his work since it is being recognized and has received support from his colleagues. This has motivated Michael at work and he knows that his work is being recognized by the organization. In scenario 3, we have Alex the manager who often wishes his employees come to work on time. Then we have Michael, who is late by one minute due to personal problems. Alex is not happy as he knows he's late by one minute and starts yelling as aggressive towards Michael, which makes Michael feel humiliated. He goes back to his cubicle and feels the pressure of work and he's upset that his boss is angry with him because he was late by just one minute. On the other hand, Richie comes late 
and gets a great welcome from Alex and he even tells him to sit. Obviously, we can see this is Alex's favorite. He then even gives him chewing up for his breath. And they start joking about it. They even joke about Michael being late. He then sends Richie off without any warning since Richie was late by 10 minutes. And this has left Michael disgusted that his towards his boss unfair treatment. Here we have the right way of doing it. Michael is late by one minute. But here Alex does not yell or shout but calmly asks him to sit down. He asks him to explain his situation. He puts Michael at ease and asks him about his family and if he has any problems on the way to work as he was late by one minute. Then he tells him you were late by one minute so there will be a punishment for this. So he tells him to do one sit up. In the meantime, Richie arrives and makes fun of Michael since he's late by one minute. But Richie was late by 10 minutes. Richie, who's Alex fair, tries to escape, but Alex is fair and tells Richie that he is late by 10 minutes and tells him, you can't escape this. So you have to do 10 sit-ups, just like Michael did one sit-up. Now Michael, who watches this, he knows that his boss is fair and he's happy that his boss is not biased at work. Mm -hmm.